feeling you are, but what you have kind of uh, deemed as territorial is actually what I think is from the mm -hmm. And I think that you have accidentally uh, communicated to her that you are her mate. Hey guys, it's so windy. So this was the free flight session today with Bertrix. Comment below, let me know what you think. I love that they are so gorgeous people. And yeah, give us a thumbs up. Go check out the channel Bertrix. And now I'm gonna go into a consultation session with them for Glory. Now this is part one consultation. How they're gonna help me with Glory. You can see my channel. And then part two, you have to go to Bertrix to see to see that in day challenge soon after yeah if you challenge me to like a uh, skydive i challenge you to get on my segway get on your segway yeah did you bring it yeah all right okay all right. let's do it glory what are you doing You guys have seen this. She walked all the way down from her perch to come to me because she wants to sit on my shoulder. This little baby. You know how to segue? Uh, nope. No, you have never done this before? Nope. Okay, press the button in the front right there. This? No, down, uh, right. Okay. One time? Yeah. And I'll get on it. And then you steer. Wow, you're good. And you steer going front, forward, or backward. You're good. So if you lean forward, yeah. you go forward. If you go lean backward, you go backward. Flies longer. <laughs> You're going fast on the way back. It's like 10 miles per hour. That's really cool. Right? I don't think it counts for getting my steps in I know, that's what I said. I like, <laughs> it's all so many miles. Were you, were you a, um, what do you call it, a um, skateboard driver? No. Never? No. Ah, you I have good balance. Just once yeah, just once. But uh, leave it on because I'm going to get off. Hey Hopi, <coughs> gonna release you from the <coughs> leash.
sorry, I need to get the... So this is how they join me. So this is Well first of all thank you for coming and like asking us for help. We're happy to help you and I'm excited to help you and hopefully see results with glory. Um, what are your overall goals? Like if you had maybe top one or top three goals, what do you want to accomplish with Glory? Well I want her to be um, like not so possessive. She's very possessive of me. She's really happy right now. <laughs> see how my shoulder not in her crate. And um, I want her to stop screaming. She did like, she's already down to 40%, but still, if I, if I have guests at home, she sees the guests, she's so excited. She starts screaming out of her lungs, and then she wants to like lash over and bite my guests. Okay. okay. Um, and then I want to start, I already started target training with her, but I do want to like target train her more. That means like um, maybe even some trick training, like fetching and stuff like that because all my birds can uh, fetch um, to make her like more um, s not smarter but like more content and not so aggressive so that she has an outlet that she she knows she, she's able and like, capable of doing more and then um, and then maybe down the line flying but I don't know if it's possible I don't even know if she really fletch as a baby if she has breast muscles um, or I mean she's happy if we're on a sack way and she's spreads her wings <laughs> and she won so bad but like I don't know if it's possible. Like just be really realistic. Okay. Right? But her life did change, she's a happy bird. I there's a lot of changes with her. One of, one of the things I think you mentioned earlier is that when she was targeting, she was biting the stick harder than you wanted, is that right? Yes, when I say target, I can show you right now. Yeah. How are we, target? 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 There we go. Okay. She bites the stick harder. She just, she doesn't tip it. She bites ah. it and sometimes she also like bites it in anger. So that's definitely one of the things we can start with with you um, in kind of a live session by putting her on the perch and showing you a couple of tips and tricks that we recommend that phase out the, the biting of the target stick and make it a gentle touch uh -huh. and maybe even switch it to where it's just, the, her, just her tongue that touches it. Right, right. Yeah, targeting, honestly, it's an easy thing to shape once she's just interested in touching it. We can phase it out from a grab and a hold on to to just a light touch. Yeah. Let me give her a little treat because she did target, so she, it's always a contract. If I, if she say, if I say target, she gets a treat, so okay. she knows she... And what are you using for treats? So this is pine nuts and um, there's a penny in there. Yeah, I see the penny. <laughs> Why is a penny in there? <laughs> um, and then mixed with some walnuts. Okay. Have you done um, any, one of the things we recommend is, is to put small piles of different treats before the birds had any sort of breakfast. So you can really determine what the top two favorite treats are. Have you done anything like that? Not with her, but I have like with my other birds. I put walnut, almonds, hazelnut, mac nuts in a hen. And then um, like hope he loves almonds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, her favorite treats for sure, if I give her like a bowl of food, her favorite treats is mac nuts. All what she wants is mac nuts. Okay. And she picks the mac nuts. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then uh, where do pine nuts fall in that? The pine nuts is like for hope and, and for others. And it's just like to have treats on me because I have three birds and sure. you know, like. I can't have always like magnets all the time in my pocket. Yeah. When shells. So let me ask you this: If, like, I mean, specifically, where do the pine nuts fall in the tier of like top favorite, second, third, fourth, fifth favorite? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, so that'll be one of the first things to discover. So I would recommend tomorrow morning before she gets any sort of breakfast, um, meaning she should, let's say, go to bed at 9 p.m., get a solid 12 hours night sleep, no interruption, and at 9 a.m. before any food, put out four different treat piles, um, and some mac nuts, some pine nuts, some walnuts, some almonds, and make the piles let like half of a shot glass worth, okay. right? So little piles. And you'll be able to see what the top first, second, third, fourth favorite treats are from that selection. Okay. Because uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite food. I love sushi. I love Italian. Uh, I love German. Okay. Uh, do you like cheeseburgers? Um, yeah, sometimes. kind of. Okay. Do you like uh, asparagus? No. Okay. So if asparagus is a treat that, that she won't touch, then you wouldn't use it to train her, right? Right. So what you want is you want to be given the sushi for the really high value things or the new behaviors that you need a higher treat value for. Uh -huh. To you, that'd be comparable to sushi. Right. What I'm concerned about is this might have the exact meh as you having a cheeseburger. Mm. So without studying what those four favorite piles are, you don't have a really clear understanding of the best type of motivation to use. Does that make sense? Once you have a firm understanding of her top favorite, her second and her third favorite, then you can really start to modify her behavior through those really high value rewards. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely one of the first steps. The other step, and I know you talked about it briefly, you touched on it, you said you have changed her diet, and diet's yeah. a big thing mm -hmm. for us, it's kind of the foundation. So for us, we do a fresh food in the morning, and we do an organic pellet at night, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the good diet looks like for you, so can you tell us what you switched her over to? Yeah, so she was just eating nuts, like mac nuts 24-7, all what she wanted was mac nuts. She wouldn't touch anything else, just mac nuts. <laughs> yeah. And now in the morning, I gave her oatmeal, and I mix it with berries, frozen berries and and I give her a spoon of al almond butter and mix it into the oatmeal and she likes something warm and she's very happy she digs in and her whole beak is like full of oatmeal yeah <laughs> okay. and also she she um, her poop is healthier now and she doesn't scream anymore that much so that's the morning then I give her like some fresh food but after she had her oatmeal but she doesn't touch it at all she complains she hates it she dumps it all on the floor and then she complains <laughs> um and then in the evening um usually i give her corn some warm I, I try to do more veggies now um and i gave her like warm corn or um yeah here and there like three or four like um oh. mac nuts or um, half half two of mac nuts or two walnuts. Okay. For dinner. When she protests the breakfast, what do you do? Nothing. I just turn around and let her be alone, and then she eats it after like oh, okay. ten minutes or so. Okay. Takes her time, but I just I was like, no, you have to deal with it. You have to eat it, and you stick with it. Either you starve or you eat it. And is there a reason that you offer the oatmeal before you offer the fresh veggies? Yes, because I really know she's going to eat the oatmeal first before the veggies. Mm -hmm. If I do the veggies, she wouldn't even touch it. Plus, like, I don't know. Just, yeah. She okay. likes it warm. I think, like, in the morning, it's nice to have something warm in the summer for energy for the day. I am thinking, and I don't know if you're thinking along the same lines. I have a feeling you are. But what you have kind of uh, deemed as territorial, <laughs> is actually what I think is hormonal. And I think that you have accidentally uh, communicated to her that you are her mate. And that's done through these warm foods that, uh, that basically have the texture of regurgitated food. So if she were to regurgitate food for you, it would have the texture of the oatmeal mixture that you're making her in the morning, where it's warm, it's mushy, comes out very soft. Um, it's the same for the warm corn in the evening. All of that can be a hormonal trigger, especially right now because we are coming into spring. Like, this is when we're going to see the most exaggerated hormonal behavior. And so you're, you're really like asking for it by giving those words. So, go Which ahead. is where you're getting some of the, the nippiness or the biting. And then we mentioned off camera how important it is to only pet the head and neck 
Right. Um, you should be able to physically manipulate and touch your bird everywhere, mm -hmm. but only stroke or pet the head and the neck. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is anything outside of that little area signals to the bird that you are his mate. Mm -hmm. So, um, or her mate, it, it doesn't wild. matter. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go into that, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to just So yeah, in the wild, only the bird's mate can preen uh, the bird's head and neck. Or, <laughs> in the wild, just mates can touch mates' bodies. So any yeah. any bird, so yeah, so any bird in the wild can preen the head and neck because they can't do that themselves. But right. only the mate can do the back and and the and the rest of the body. And so by you touching the rest of the body, you're signaling that that you're a mate. That combined with the warm foods, the like Jamie said, the territorial issue that you're getting sounds more like it's a hormonal behavior because you are giving all clear indications that you're this bird's mate. Mm -hmm. And she regurgitate, re regurgitate? Regurgitate? Regurgitate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm German. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, she does that like all the time. She always smells like vomit. Like she has toys <laughs> in her cage on the floor and she, oh, she has a little ball and she does it all the time. Yeah, so things like that where you notice that there's a specific toy or a specific thing that triggers her to regurgitate, you just need to take it out of the equation for now because this is the time where it's going to be uh, just kind of exaggerated because we're going into spring and it's just something that you need to avoid triggering more so because it's just going to lead to more and more and more frustration which mm -hmm. leads to aggression. Mm -hmm. So that's really what we're trying to stop. If you can get her on a fresh mix of mostly vegetables, you can put grains, like cooked beans in there. So she still has the tenderness of a cooked bean, but it's not coming in warm. Mm -hmm. It's coming in soft, but it's amongst all these other different textures. So no warm uh, food at all. It would be would, in your best interest yeah. to get her off of your oatmeal mixture. One, she doesn't, she shouldn't be getting fruits every single day. Two, she shouldn't be getting oatmeal every single day. She doesn't even touch butter. fruits. <laughs> yeah. So, or, Except or like if butter. I mix it into the oatmeal, like blueberries. That's your like main focus yeah. right yeah. now. Your yeah. diet is so heavy on triggering hormonal behavior yeah. that it's going to be in your best interest to just get away from all this hormonal, <laughs> hormonal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's accidental. Like we see it all the time. So it's. You know. So what do you feed your birds in the morning? Veggies and just in the evening pallets and that's it. That's all what they get. And then here and there like a treat if they do good like exactly. Yeah, so we reserve yep, we reserve um nuts and seeds for training. So okay. like for flying uh, and stuff, that's when they, they get their nuts and seeds or for training indoors, whatever we ask it's of them. It's never in their main diet. It's never in their main diet. They don't just get it for free in a bowl. Yeah. Um so then and fruits is a treat, it's a high value treat for our birds. <laughs> If you do a good job, we get to go out for food. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sushi! No, sushi. <laughs> Guys, this is this was the vlog, right? I think so. We still gotta go through on an airplane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's vlog number four. But guys, this is vlog number four. I hope you enjoy it. Go check out Bird Tricks. What's your website? <laughs> Bird Tricks. Bird Tricks. <laughs> That's his bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you, everybody. If you're watching this, this is part one. Watch out my channel. Part two will be on their channel. Yeah, do you guys think Caroline will learn how to successfully target? Leave it in the comments. In the comments. <laughs> is she trainable? <laughs> is she trainable? Is she trainable? <laughs> It's because she thinks you're her mate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she just wants to sit on my shoulder and lick my face. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like. Swipe <laughs> <Just like> that? <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's literally what she wants to do. Sit on my shoulder and lick my face. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Love you.